So guys, welcome to the shop. Today we are going to look at how to terminate a RG58 cable or other equivalent cables with a crimp on SMA connector. This one happens to be made for a special cable called AirCell 5, but it's a RG58 equivalent cable. So uh, these are among the worst when it comes to you know, actually terminating these uh, because they are very small, especially the crimp on versions. And at least it says crimp, we'll look at how to determine that. But for starters we're going to uh, strip the coaxial cable. You can do this with a some sort of blade, but I prefer to use. Okay, that is indeed weird. Okay. Seems that my stripper is a bit out of alignment. Let's try again. like that. And these are three blade strippers. So what they do is they cut three notches into the cable at different depths, which then gives you these different cuts. And it's out of alignment, so we're going to align it. Oh no, because the Allen key has fallen out, but there's a small Allen key that you can adjust the different blades with in the bottom there. And I think it's set up for ALCL5, that's <laughs> kind of sort of equivalent. But anyway, so what you do is you strip off the outer jacket from the whole area, then you strip the, the inner jacket, so you just get the isolator and finally you remove the isolator. So you would end up with a jacket, braid, inner, uh, inner jacket and the center conductor. So then what we're going to take is a take the connector and if you're the sort that actually thinks ahead you would have put this sleeve on first and gotten that nice and tidy but we're not that sort now are we? And we'll take the center pin uh, yeah. okay so then you need to twist up this here Connector. Try to feed that into the center pin. And now we can see we have the center conductor way too long. So we're going to cut it off. And I prefer to cut it over length and then try to try it out a bit to see what the correct depth is going to be. I think that's that's rather quite good. Then we take our crimping tool and look for a suitable notch. I would wager it's that one. And these are extremely fiddly to begin with and even worse when you're trying to do it at a bit of an angle for filming. I personally prefer the type I do the Aircom. Not only is it a better cable when it comes to radio performance, 
that's also easier to work with. Test this is if you squeeze your pliers together. Okay, I was going for the wrong hole. Larger one. So, uh, yeah, because it has a solid center conduct to the air comb. 120. Okay, I'm just going to try and. Uh, this is really hard. <laughs> doesn't help that my shop is currently 10C maybe hey we got it so what you do is you then just crank it down and that makes a nice crimp in the end so now we have the center conductor crimped on. What we're going to do is push it through. And all I did was put the conductor through one of the holes in this end. And then we're going to feed the center conductor in through the center of our cable and push it down until it protrudes up the other end. And then we're going to take our braid and work that out a bit. And what's interesting, it says crimp on the side of this box, but it still had the solder joint, a little hole in the middle for soldering. So you could actually solder this one as well, I guess. And then you push the, the sleeve around it and then we take our crimping tool again and just apply a bit of pressure and put that through there and again we were in the wrong slot this you will learn by you know just trying it which one is the correct one? But this one works for almost all RG58 cables. And you get this nice hex crimp. Now, uh, this is sufficient for most applications, but if you were to, for example, put this in a <coughs> excuse me, a cold or, or humid environment, I would put a bit of heat shrink over this as well. But this is sufficient for for uh, most applications. So there you go. How to, with a bit of faffing about, crimp a SMA connector to an RG58 cable. Thank you for watching. Have a nice evening.